Hi guys, Colsey, and today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. It's not a gaming video, it's actually a, a bit of tech video, especially for you streamers out there, if you're into live streaming, then this might be uh, pretty cool for you. I thought it was pretty cool. Right, anyway, you may have heard of the Elgato Stream Deck. It's like a little 15 key uh, programmable little, little thing where you can program the keys to do certain things with your live stream. So uh, at the minute I'm looking at it on Amazon right now, uh, it's £136, 15p here in the UK, don't know what that is in dollars, over $100 anyway. So what it does is basically gives you these extra keys on the Stream Deck that allow you to change scenes, add you know media, toggle things, audio, stuff like that on your stream with this little device. It's pretty cool. I was actually really interested in getting one, although I don't really do a lot of streaming uh, or as much streaming as I'd like to do. So I haven't bought one because I couldn't prove to myself that I needed it. However, here is a game changer. I think it's a game changer anyway. Streamlabs, who if you're a live streamer, probably have heard of Streamlabs. If not, you already use them. Um, they have their own Streamlabs OBS software which is free, uh, it's currently, they're still working on it, but it works fine for me, it's what I use to stream with, it's what I use to record with. It's a great piece of software, mixing Streamlabs in with OBS, which is my preferred way to record uh, videos. Uh, it also means the integration with like all the Streamlabs uh, things, like your alerts and your notifications and chat bar, Stuff like that is really simple because it's all in one place. They have recently just released a remote control app for your smartphone. I can show you right here. Uh, this is my phone. And as you can see, it looks pretty much like the Stream Deck would look. I mean, it has these keys. There's a QR code on your Streamlabs OBS software on your PC. You scan it with the Streamlabs app, you scan the QR code, and then it links together. And what that means is I am recording on my, on my, like, stream set up right now so that I can show you. What it means is, normally I have hotkeys set up on my keyboard uh, to like change scenes and things like that. I don't actually need to do that anymore because with this, I can change by just clicking a button, I can change the scene. So let's go, okay, for example, right, so see here the green one is the scene we're on now. Currently we're on the, what I would use as my gaming stream, so the, obviously it's black at the minute, I'm not playing any games, but that's where the game would be. If I click this one, it'll switch to face cam. That's pretty cool. The reason that I wanted to make a video about this is because I thought the Stream Deck was an awesome idea. I thought it was amazing. I don't even know which camera to look at. I'm using two cameras. I don't know whether to look at this one or that one. I might keep looking at this one. Um, so what I thought was amazing about the Elgato Stream Deck, I thought it was a really cool new device. And yes, there are differences. I will go through those over like in a minute. The Elgato Stream Deck is like, uh, like 130 pounds, 100 and something dollars. It's quite expensive. I mean, you know, it's not it's not an insignificant amount of money. However, you know, Streamlabs come out with this app that means that I can do basically everything I did on the Stream Deck, but it's, it's free and it's just an app and it's really simple and it's easy to download and it works perfectly with this and I can like, oh, now I'm on face cam and now I'm not. And now back on face cam, and now I'm not, I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking at the phone. I can just switch between the two of them. I don't even need to look. Oh, you look over here. I'm still switching between the scenes. I think that's a really cool thing to be able to do. I can turn off donation alerts. I can alter the sound. I can decide which sound is recorded and which is not. Like, I turn my mic off. Now the mic is off. You you can only hear me through through the web uh, through the webcam through my camera, not the webcam. You can't hear me through the webcam anyway. I'm using the microphone. And then I turn the mic back on and now you can hear me again through the microphone. It's really cool. Now there are differences, obviously with the Stream Deck, it has uses outside of streaming. I'm aware of that. You can use it effectively as hotkeys. So maybe if you're a graphics designer or something like that, you can set like different apps to open through a hotkey. You can have folders which you can access through the Steam Deck. So you don't only have 15 keys. It only has 15 keys, but you can like set a folder up so that opens another set of keys. So there is there is that. There is more to it. It's also kind of cool. You can set a little image. You can set individual images behind each of the buttons, which is really cool. I don't think that personally is worth the money to me, and especially as it's, you know, it's called a stream deck. It's predominantly focused at streamers. I feel like the Streamlabs OBS, the Slobs app, I don't know why they call it slobs. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that they call it slobs. I'm going to say Streamlabs OBS. I think that their app 
is perfectly good enough. There's plenty that I can add if I wanted like a little thing to pop up. I could put that in my actual stream as like a media source and then I could turn that on and off. I could have an audio thing and I could activate that when I wanted. It just makes it really, really easy to be able to do that. And I think with this app, it's, it's just, I don't understand why you buy a Stream Deck. I'm sorry, I like the Stream Deck. I still would like a Stream Deck purely because it's cool. Literally, okay, I'm getting... F and apparently sound... I don't know whether the sound came through my phone there. I'm not actually sure. But I got a follow right there, which is a, a bit strange because I'm, I'm not I'm not streaming. Anyway, that was really weird. I think that the Stream Deck, the Elgato Stream Deck is really, really cool. I do. And if you already have one, you, you're set, aren't you? You've already got yours. It makes no difference to you. If you haven't, highly recommend you check out the Streamlabs OBS app. You need Streamlabs OBS on your PC. If you're already using OBS, it's really simple. It like brings everything in for you, all your settings from OBS. It'll automatically put them in. It's a Streamlabs OBS, which is really cool. It has studio mode now, which is a new feature that's just come out. And now if you have the app, you can you can use this awesome new, it's called Remote Control, to, to mess about with the stream and be able to change things and be like, oh, I'm gonna on the webcam now and I didn't have to touch anything on my keyboard. I just think it's really cool and I just wanted to make a video so that you guys could check it out. Other than that, I don't really know what else there is to say. It's really cool, really cool piece of, piece of technology, which I think is awesome. And uh, I think it's, I think it's, it's a great piece of competition to the Elgato Stream Deck. I honestly cannot understand why you would spend that much money on a Stream Deck. I still think it's cool. It has slightly more options than the app does, but that's not to say that the app couldn't add these. Uh, I don't know what they're planning on doing with it, but they could definitely add it. So anyway, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Go check it out. I'll put a link in the description to where you can go grab Streamlabs OBS. And I think the remote control at the minute is only out on Android. So if you're an iPhone user, you might have to wait a little bit longer, but it should be out pretty soon, I would imagine. It seems to be working pretty good. I really like it. I think it's really cool. Look, I turned the tip jar off. I put the tip jar back. Whoa, off, back. It's really cool! Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. It's really helpful. And I will catch you guys next time.